What's up, everybody? Bitcoin J back again. Get that crypto. That's my theme. That's my new theme. I changed my theme around my my, my headers and, and my, my icon. So you can catch me on Twitter at Bitcoin Johnson. Uh, get that crypto. I, I tweet a few things. And when I put my videos up, I also uh, upload them on, on the Twitter. You know, I just like communicating with people that have like minds, even people that don't, you know. So I'm a big cryptocurrency fan. Been one since, I don't know, late 2013. I wish it was early 2013. Then I would have gotten XRP at a dirt cheap amount in the millions I would have had. But hey, you know, hindsight. It's always 2020. Eagle vision, right? But anyway, I'm, I just want everybody to know I'm not specific on one cryptocurrency. I'm all cryptocurrencies. I got my favorites, but my favorite all time is XRP. I gotta, I gotta be honest. It just really is. Uh, only because it's a bridge to opening the, the vault, the golden vault is what I call it. It's like, now what, what, what is that gold everybody was looking for that, uh, you know, oh God, what is the name of that thing? Um, you know, it's full of traps and like, if you find it, you know, it, you know, it's, you set off different, God, it, it, it's an American treasure hunter's dream. But anyway, it supposedly has all the treasures that you'd ever want to find. And it may even have some things, you know, from from the days when when they say Jesus walked the earth. But anyway, my point is this XRP is the bridge to opening everything, you know, bridging the gap from traditional banking systems to, uh, you know, to to the new age is what I call it. It's going to be the new age. It's going to be the new age of finance, It's going to be the new age of money, the traditional old ways they're going to go gone. They're going to go by the wayside as, as my man, you know, I always give a shout out. Well, lately I've been giving a shout out to him. Digital asset investor. That's my dude. And also the modern investor. That's another cat that I listen to great information, great insight. Um, so shout out to them. And yeah, I do have a little cinnamon in my coffee, my man. Good looking out. Anyway, I digress. Um, I want to talk to you today a little bit about something. I was on Twitter, you know, I don't normally go on Twitter that much, to be honest with you. I've had a Twitter account for a while, but just recently I've been starting to, you know, put things on there. But, uh, you know, Brad Garland House, it's uh, at B Garland House. Uh, if you want to start following him, I would recommend it just so you can get some more updates and you can find out what's really happening. This is a little old. This is December 18th. It's a couple days old, but I found this interesting. OK, blockchain could prove to be as important to commerce as email and text messaging were to communications. Wouldn't you say it was pretty big? I would. All right. New financial systems built on it could help connect people around the world who lack access to traditional banking services. That's powerful. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. This is just my little research. You do your own research. All right. All right. America could lead to transition to a digital currency reserve. Now that that's incredible if that happens. All right. Because think about it. Just like the gold reserve, you know, they say that the dollar's backed by gold. Well, whatever. Anyway, but they have gold to back it up, right? Literally, Fort Knox and different places, they have gold to back up the dollar, right? Physical, you know, no currency, right? Well, in this instance, you'd have digital currency to back up digital currency. So if somebody's investing, like that's why this this first quarter of next year is so important when you get the, you know. Well, I don't know if ETF is going to come out uh, first quarter of next year. I, I really don't know. But when you have BAT being launched, you have, uh, you know, all these different platforms coming up, uh, you know, the first quarter of next year, which are going to unleash the hounds is what I like to call it. Unleash the hounds of of money from the one of the so not one, a lot of the oldest finance companies or investment firms. You're talking trillion dollar companies. That are going to get give their people access to cryptocurrencies. You know what that's going to do to the market and the market. What is the market right now? The market is wow. We gained like thirty billion dollars in a couple days. That's pretty cool. Um, markets markets up right now. That's nice. But you got one hundred thirty two billion dollar market. Well, when you're talking trillions of dollars, and that's just one company or one investment firm that's going to 
you know, potentially infuse trillions of dollars. Let's say it's not trillions. Let's say it's half of that. Well, you're going to quadruple the market share. So think about it. That's going to raise the price of every every cryptocurrency. So whatever you're holding is going to increase in value. So I advise you. I'm not an advisor. Let me just say I'm not a financial advisor. What I'm saying is if you are bullish on cryptocurrency now, you should damn well be bullish on it then. So but if you see it potentially going up in value, get some now while it's cheaper. Right. Makes sense. But I am not a financial advisor. You do what you do. Don't be mad at me if you lose money. I'm not going to be mad at you if I lose money. Fair. All right. Let's shake hands. Let's shake the, the air hands. All right. Cool. Air bump. Boom. Gotcha. All right, let's get back to what I was saying. Now, the United States has the opportunity to incubate technologies that could enable a digital transitional currency of the future. Now, and this is just me thinking. I'm thinking, well, how many people are there in the world? Number one. All right. Everybody has it. I'm going to let you guess. I'm going to give you a couple minutes. How many people in the world? All right. And, it, and it's increasing by about a, about a second, which is crazy. Believe me, it is. <clears throat> You're going to see what I'm talking about. But put it in the comments what you think. Now, obviously, you're going to research it and give me the right answer. But let's let's go ahead and check this out. So current world population. By the second, all right, you got 7.67 billion people on Earth. And now I'm not I don't know how to get the consensus, but, you know, they could be off. <laughs> I'm guessing it's within a billion, you know, give or take a billion. But that's pretty cool. All right. You got 7.6 billion people in the world. Now, there's a lot of people in the world that do not have a bank account. I don't know if you realize that. All right. Let's take a peek at this. By estimates, this is Business Insider. And this is a year old. So this is a little off, but it's not off by much. The, the world's 2 billion unbanked. 2 billion people are unbanked in the world. All right. Two billion people worldwide do not have a bank account or access to a financial institution via a mobile phone or any other device. But between 2011 and 2014, 700 million adults became account holders and the unbanked population fell by 20 percent, down from 2.5 billion. That's according to the World Bank's Global Financial Inclusion Database, based on information from more than 140 countries. That's that's impressive that they were able to, to you know, get that, that that information together. But it's sad because. Two billion people don't have a bank account. What's even more sad is the fact that it's so old and archaic that you, you know, most people. Well, look, let's let's see what they say. And I could be wrong. Um, oh, yeah, here we go. According to the banks, according to the World Bank's data, more than 20 percent of unbanked adults receive wages or government transfers in cash. And many people in developing countries pay bills and school fees in cash. So in 2015, working papers said government and private companies have a pivotal role to play in reducing the number of people who are unbanked. Distinct, dis, dig, distish, distishing? I don't know what that word is, so I apologize. Distishing payments is said. <laughs> you guys are going to murder me in these comments. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with it. It said it would also help empower women and encourage their economic participation. Financial inclusion has been as key for reducing poverty bank ha, financial inclusion has been seen as a key for reducing pro poverty. Absolutely. Thousand percent agree. Bank accounts have an important part to play in the, in the founding and expanding of businesses, making transactions more efficient, secure and transparent and managing savings. However, savings and accounts do not necessarily reduce inequality within a country. And some of the richest countries in the world have the widest gaps between the rich and the poor. The world database shows. All right. I'm not going to read everything else. You. I, I'll try to remember. I always say this. I say I'm going to leave it a link in the description. I, I forget sometimes. I'll leave that link. But you guys can do your own research. My point is you got two billion people that don't have a bank account and you got. What is that? More than 20 percent of the unbanked get paid in cash. So what are you going to do with the cash? Physical cash. Where are you going to put it? You're going to keep it in your in, in your in your in your house under your mattress. In your mattress. So if the house burns down, money's gone. Someone breaks in, they steal your money. What, what do you got? It's not FDIC insured. So it's not like you have a bank account, right? So you're at risk, high risk. And here's the other thing. Everyone's got a cell phone, wouldn't you agree? Pretty inexpensive nowadays. Used to be back in the day, very expensive. So 
How many people in the world have a cell phone? Well, let's take a peeky. Our number of mobile phone users worldwide from 2015 to 2020 in the billions. All right. Now, this how how old is this one? I'm not sure of the age of this. Uh, these findings, uh, this stat, but. Uh, Oh, it's 2018, so I don't know what month. But anyway, check this out. 2015, there were 4.15 billion cell phone users, right? We're in 2018. It rose by about 4 billion, 4.2 billion. Not 4.2 billion. Um, 4.2 million, I should say. Is that right? Yeah, 4.2 million. So from 4.15 to 4.57. The point is... You've got four and a half billion people with a cell phone, but yet you got two billion people without a bank account. So it would make sense if the governments of the world would realize that digital currency would help stabilize countries. Now, I'm no economist. I'm no, you know, I'm no government agent. I don't know much about these things, but what I do know is that when you have access to different funds, your life can be a little different. You know, at, at my my at my day job, <clears throat> and yes, I do still work. I'm not crypto rich yet. We're working on that. At my day job, you know, you get, you see a lot of people that have direct deposit. You know, I'm one of them. Yeah, I got direct deposit, right? So um, I don't need the paper checks anymore because I realize that digitally that is more efficient, right? But then there's a lot of people at my work that get a paper check. And I'm thinking, what the hell? Really? You still get a paper check, dude? That's like 15, 20 years ago. But you know what? You know what they told me? Think about it. It just goes back to my original point. They don't have a bank account. Now, it could be they don't have a bank account because, you know, they got, you know, shut down or some things happen financially. Anything can happen to anybody. I'm not pointing a finger. I get it. The world is tough. And finances are tougher, but they don't have a bank account. So how can how can how can that change? This is how it's going to change. Now, Brad Garland House is a freaking visionary and the people at XRP are, too. So all I'm saying is this. I just want to bring this up. I thought it was a good point to make. I thought it was a great article to to to, to expand upon. I think this makes a lot of sense. So XRP, in my opinion, is a absolute gold mine, And I will be getting more as time goes on, hopefully before the price goes up. Um, and I, listen, you do what you want. I'm going to get some more. I, I hope that you follow your heart. That's all I'm going to tell you. All right. Please do me a favor. Here's the deal. Get that crypto. I changed my theme. I'm going to leave a link in the description for some t-shirts that I got made for get that crypto. I think it's pretty slick. Tell me what you think. All right. Like subscribe, hit the bell notification. Give me some, you know, put some comments down there. Help a brother out. I'm trying to get my views up and, and, and my likes up and just trying to get people involved. All right. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.